before you ask how long more do we need to do this i can assure you this is the last step of how you can now prepare and connect to your cluster via ssh and this is also the most important step that you should try it at least once before you call it a day so what you do is go back to your putty window where you should have this screen and also your newly created setting that you have saved you can now click on load where if you have restarted this app you by loading it you will get all the configuration which is the username and also the server name and the port ssh and including the different information here so if you click on ssh go inside look for auth or tunnel those settings should be still there if you have done it correctly if not if you face any problem here you may need to remove this entry or you can keep it there and later select and save it so that you can go back to the video that teach you how to set up ssh or putty and repeat that process until you get it right next you would like to double click on this or click open and if you have configured your putty correctly you will see the black screen appearing and if you have set the security rule correctly you will get this security alert saying that the host key has not been cached and this is normal because this is the first time you are connecting to a remote server that your putty or your windows machine do not have any information about that server therefore click yes here to accept the new key and you realize if you set everything correctly you will come into the welcome screen which is this right and to some people this look pretty cool because they even use the character to draw a picture of emr if you reach this point so far congratulations you have successfully created your emr cluster on aws and you have successfully connect to the emr server or the master server via putty or ssh from this point onwards if you reach here successfully we will always now require you to do this in order to connect to it so with this i would like to thank you and before you end all this thing one thing you need to remember if for an extended time you will not use this cluster you may want to come back to ec2 under cluster and you probably want to terminate it why because if you are not using it you leave it running then you see that this elapsed time will continue and i think for about two hours three hours or maybe eight hours if not mistaken of elapsed time it would have cost you about three dollar credits therefore i encourage you to only create the cluster when you are ready to bring any file into your cluster okay so therefore if you know for some time that you will not really use it like you're going to take a break for a week before you start this over again you should terminate it so that the cluster no longer exists and it's not running and of course in order to access your cluster you have to recreate this but if you have already gone through the step once and you already have the key pair to create the clusters and the relevant uh, rule for you to log on all these things by right should be easy the next time you just follow the instructions given and once you are done now you are ready to log on to the server again okay so remember to terminate so that you do not just use up your cluster credits without noticing so please pay attention to this with this i would like to end this part and you should look for and wait for the next video where i will tell you how you can download the data and also run one of the example or two of the examples we have done in our classes using the cloudera vm now on aws cluster okay i see you in the next video